What they do is what they what they did is what they have to do, and then I mean going uh, interdisciplinary, listening about lasers, neuroscientists learning about laser. What I know that to do that was that? a bit crazy, but but I think we, it is always like that. If you want to do something interdisciplinary, you need to have the courage to jump into the deep end. What do you think would, would be needed to mimic basic information processing in the brain and to realize that in laser and optical systems? But uh, what kind of task would you, would you have in mind? Well, for example, sensory information processing or decision problems. Most important uh, thing about the uh, about the institute, I think, is the uh, the attitude of the uh, researchers here. We scientists uh, work because of an intellectual challenge, and uh, an intellectual challenge uh, requires uh, motivation, and motivation means uh, curiosity, and means uh, to look around and not to continue doing what you've been doing for the uh, for the past year. So, looking for new fields, looking for new ideas, looking for new concepts. But what, what happens when do you go out to a conference of linguistics? They say, you know, they know that you are a quantum mechanic, <laughs> to be a person working in quantum mechanics. I mean, it's a very hard. Uh, so I am working in, in questions like big data, uh, mm -hmm. the analysis of questions like Twitter, telephone, and, and things like that for mobility or location of people. How do you think that we can use that for linguistics and uh, analysis of linguistics? Well, I think this is a very good opportunity because, I mean, we can build uh, big corpora. And which are treated in an automatic way. Every linguistic change behind there is kind of social change. Mm, okay. 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 So, uh, and this is also a change be in, in between us, right? Yeah, because yeah, uh, before we didn't uh, collaborate and now mm -hmm. we are working together. We organize our work is in a transversal line of research on complex systems. And from there, we transfer knowledge to different cross-disciplinary fields. I like very much our slogan, Connecting Science, because I think the, the connections between different parts of science is what really makes science to advance. I am convinced that the methods we use in, in some part of science, for example in physics, can be um, used with success in other parts, for example, in biology or in the social science. Uh, for example, we try to understand uh, problems in biology or in social science with the methods of physics, and I think we are, we are doing interesting contributions to that. Talk about some keywords that we might have in this topic. One of the two keywords could be, for instance, synchronization. Quantum correlations. Uh, collective phenomena. Emergent phenomena. Yeah. Interaction. Universal. Many units. Um, entanglement, discord. Absence of a director. Absence of somebody who really may, uh, uh, directs all the, all the other systems. Spontaneous synchronization. Which would be a spontaneous, yeah. Entrainment, on the other hand. Another topic which is very important at IFISC and is also related to connectivity is that of network. Network, network theory is an impart, important part of our research. We try to, um, to make models in which the different um, systems are modeled by the interactions between them. We construct networks that represent the interactions between individuals in social, uh, in social networks or we make models of the, of the connections between different parts of the brain in, the, in neuroscience, or we make also networks that represent the connectivity, genetic connectivity between different, between different places of the, of the sea. In the next, uh, in the next presentation, I'm going to show the, the movies of the, of the optical system in the, in the context of ecology. Let's see if anyone realizes of that. In ecology? Is this one of these plants? Yes, you can find them in the beach almost uh, along the year in autumn and winter. Uh, what is this exactly? Because the plants are this... this. Yes, these are the, the leaves that dry and then the waves that bring them, bring them to the shore. That's great. Yes, very nice. We 
besides our work on basic research, we also feel it is important to train new students in the field of complex systems. We offer them the opportunity to join us in our different research activities. And what we want them is to, to, to have a, a complete knowledge of what a complex system is, and have a complete knowledge how research in complex systems is done. Thank you.